Congratulations on your purchase of Interact AS. Interact AS is a powerful tool for enabling communications for everyone, everywhere, and anytime. There are many features included in your system. In this video, I'll be giving a quick introduction on how to get started on using Interact AS. This video is focused on individuals that are deaf or hard of hearing that are using Interact AS's closed captioning features. There are additional videos available that are focused on individuals using Interact AS for voice synthesis, or for reading text, or for learning a new language, or one of the many other applications that Interact AS supports. These videos can be found by going to our website, which is www.auditorysciences.com. Let's get started by looking at how you navigate Interact AS's interface. Interact AS has five main pages that are accessed through the icons at the top of your screen. The user page is where all your user accounts are stored. The translate page is where you'll see the closed captioning and be able to use other features such as voice synthesis. Use the configure page in order to customize Interact AS specifically for your needs. The visualize page allows you to use things like pictures and maps, video clips, and any other sort of imagery in order to augment your communications. And in the help page you'll find the user guide and additional instructional videos to tell you more about all the features contained in Interact AS. Let's go over and start with the user page. The user page is where all your user accounts are located. Each user account stores all of your preferred settings. You can have as many user accounts as you like. Typically you will have one for each person that will be using your system. For example, if you will be using Interact AS to communicate with a coworker named Chris, then you should create a user account called Chris. You should do this for all the individuals that will be using Interact AS. When you create these accounts, it is best if the other person, in this case Chris, is with you when you do this. The reason is that you will want this other person to create their own voice profile, which takes around 6 or 7 minutes to do. I'll show you how this is done in a moment. To open up a user account, just double click on the icon and all of your settings are automatically loaded and you're ready to start interacting. I set up this account so it automatically loads the Dutch language module. Ik bereid deze rekening voor zodat het automatisch de Nederlandse taalmodule laat is. So that's an example of a language module being used with Interact AS. To create a new user account, simply click on the Add button. Each step of the process is described for you. When you're finished with each step, click on the Next button to continue. This is where you enter the name of the new user account. You can use any name that you want. Usually this is your name or initials plus another description like the name of the person that you will be communicating with. In this third step, you select the languages that you will be using. If you have purchased any of Interact AS's language modules, then these languages will be shown in the drop-down boxes. In this case, I'm going to set up this user account where both people in the conversation will be using English. Interact AS automatically makes a voice profile for each person and continues to make adjustments as the person is speaking. The more the person talks, the better Interact AS will become at closed captioning what they are saying. If you're using Interact AS in a situation where the person speaking does not have time to create a voice profile, then select the Untrained Voice Profile option. However, the best practice suggestion is that if a person is going to be using Interact AS several times, such as a coworker or a teacher in your school, then they should create their own personal voice profile. You do this by clicking on the Add button. Enter a name for the voice profile, something like the person's initials, and then click on the Next button to continue. In this step, Interact AS checks to make sure that your computer's microphone is working. Go ahead and click on the Setup icon to continue. Interact AS checks to see what microphones are available and asks which one you want to use. Note that in most situations, that is, everything except a quiet office environment, you'll need to use an external microphone. If you do not already have such a microphone, then please visit www.auditorysciences.com for help in selecting one that meets your needs. From the shown list, go ahead and select the microphone that you'll be using and then click on the Next button to continue. Interact AS continually monitors the volume level of your microphone and automatically makes adjustments for optimal speech recognition. It's still a good idea though whenever you're using Interact AS to try to hold your microphone in the same position each time. Ideally this is about one inch from the corner of your mouth. 
In this step, Interact AS is checking to see if your microphone is turned on. When you're ready, click on the Start Volume Check button and start reading the text that's displayed in the box. In this step, the computer listens to the sound of your voice and adjusts the volume setting of your microphone. When the computer has finished adjusting the volume, it beeps to signal that the process is complete. If you reach the end of this text but you have not heard a beep, the beep lets you know that the volume has been successfully adjusted and that you're ready to move on to the next step. Go ahead and click the Next button to continue. Having a high quality microphone helps improve the accuracy of your closed captioning. In this step, Interact AS measures the quality of your microphone to let you know if it's okay. Click on the Start Quality Check button and then start talking. In this step, the computer checks the audio input from your sound system. Having high quality audio input is very important for good speech recognition. Poor audio input will make it difficult or impossible for the program to recognize your speech accurately. When the computer is finished checking the audio quality, it beeps to signal that the process is complete. Your microphone's rating is shown here. Ideally, this number should be 20 or above. Now that we've verified that our microphone is working, we're ready to move on to the next step of creating the voice profile. The person who will be speaking, in this case our coworker Chris, will need to do this next step. This takes about five minutes to complete. Click on the train button to get started. Interact displays a sentence for you to read. The arrow points to the words that should be read aloud. I'll go ahead and do this right now. Welcome to general training. Training is about to begin. Now that you've gotten the hang of it by reading the first two sentences, you're ready to select a story to read. You can choose any of these stories. In this case, I'll select the first one and start reading. Congratulations on your purchase of Interact. Interact is one of SpeechGear's many products that remove the language barrier. I'll pause here to point out a few quick items. If you get stuck on a word, just click on the skip button. And if you'd like to take a break while reading, click on the pause button. I'll go ahead and finish reading this voice profile, but I'll stop the recording while I'm doing that, or otherwise you'd just be watching me read some text for the next three minutes or so. Well, it took me a little over three minutes to finish reading the paragraphs. Once you've done that, Interact will show you this message. Go ahead and click OK to continue. Congratulations, you've just finished creating your first user account. Go ahead and click on the Finish button, and this new account will be automatically loaded for you. Well, that completes our overview of the user page and the instructions on how to set up a new user account. As a quick review, the user page is where all of your user accounts are stored. Each account remembers all of your preferred settings. Just double click on the account you want to use, your settings are then automatically loaded, and you're ready to start interacting. Remember that you can have as many user accounts as you like. Go ahead and set up an account for each person that will be using your Interact AS system, plus one for different situations, such as conference room meetings or seminars. Now that we've covered the user page and setting up new user accounts, let's move on to the Translate page. The Translate page is where you can see the closed captioning of what people are saying. There are three boxes, the top, the middle, and the bottom. The person that is speaking will use the middle box, and the person that is reading the closed captioning will be using the top and the bottom boxes. Let me repeat that again. The person that is speaking will use the middle box, and the person that is reading the closed captioning will be using the top and bottom boxes. Let me show you how this works. I can turn the microphone on by clicking on this icon, and when I do that, now everything that I'm saying is going to be instantly closed captioned. Note that the sound meter shows me that my microphone is working. Again, if you are a person that is deaf or hard of hearing, you'll want to watch either the top or bottom box, not the middle box. The most recent phrase that I've said appears in this top box, and the entire transcript appears in the bottom box. Many people that are deaf or hard of hearing use lip reading and facial gestures to understand what a person is saying. With Interact, go ahead and continue doing this. If you miss a phrase that someone has said, then you can shift your eye focus from looking at the person to glance at your computer, specifically this top box. That is where the most recent phrase is displayed. We put this box right at the top so it's very easy for you to find. 
You can read that most recent phrase and then shift your eye focus back to looking at the person that is speaking. The bottom box keeps an entire transcript of the conversation, which you can save for future reference by clicking on these icons. Plus, the transcript also includes a synchronized voice recording of the person that was speaking. Let me go ahead and show that to you. To play this, simply select the phrases that you want, and then select your right mouse button. The bottom box keeps an entire transcript of the conversation. Note that you can increase the size of these text boxes by either clicking on the maximum size button located at the top here, or by clicking on the edge of the boxes and just simply expanding them to whatever size you prefer. Interact AS also includes a voice synthesis feature. If you do not have the ability to speak, then you can use this feature to voice aloud whatever you type or write. To do this, click in the top box. In this case, I'll type a phrase, but if I had a tablet PC, I could also write. When you're done, simply click the Translate button, and everything that you've typed or written will be voiced out loud. Interact voices aloud whatever I type or write. Remember, the middle box is for the person who is speaking, so in addition to voicing aloud whatever you write or type, we also display that here in this middle box. For individuals that are deaf, in the next release of our software, there will be a sound meter located here that lets you know that Interact AS is speaking aloud what you have just typed. The right edge of the interface has icons that control each text box. The loudspeaker button voices aloud any text that is contained in the box. Interact voice is allowed whatever I type or write. And the trash can deletes any displayed text. This is true for both the top and middle boxes. For the bottom box, which is the transcription log, there are three buttons. The middle one is for saving the transcript log. This can be saved as a Word file or an Interact AS log file. When you save it as an Interact AS log file, then later you can reload that file back into Interact AS by clicking on the Open Log button. For example, if you used Interact AS to transcribe a meeting or a classroom lecture, you can save the transcription and synchronized voice recording, and later that evening review the notes, and if you'd like, listen to portions of the meetings that you would like repeated. Right in the center of the interface, you have some additional buttons. Let me enter some text to show you how this works. Here's an example sentence. Here is an example sentence. These two buttons increase and decrease the font size. Click on this button to make the font size larger, and click on this one to make it smaller. This large button is used whenever you are typing or writing text, and it is also used when you are closed captioning speech but the auto-translate feature is turned off. Click this button for the translation or voice synthesis to occur. Again, after you've entered the text that you want to be spoken aloud, Click on this button, here is an example sentence, and whatever you've typed will be spoken aloud. Clicking on this button will connect you to a live interpreter for instant translation of over 190 spoken languages, and soon this button will also support ASL and LSM sign languages. When you click on the button, you'll see a number pad where you can enter your user account. Please note that you need to have purchased Interact AS's live interpreter module for this feature to work. Well, that concludes our rather quick tour of the Translate page. Let's move on to the Configure page. The Configure page is where you can customize Interact AS specifically for your needs. There are four tabs in this page, User Options, Composer, Speech Recognition, and Voice Synthesis. Let's start with the User Options tab. In this video, I'm just giving you a quick tour, not every detail, so let me just point out a few items. Let's start with the auto-translate feature. Use this feature when you want to closed caption continuous speech, such as a lecture in a classroom, a presentation in a workshop, a radio broadcast, or a religious service. With this feature turned on, you do not need to click the Translate button. Interact AS automatically closed captions whatever is being said. If you're in a situation where you want to always make sure that the transcript is precisely accurate before posting it to the transcript log, then turn off this feature and instead use the manual translate mode. In this mode, you can first verify that Interact AS has precisely transcribed the speech, make any corrections if needed, and then when you click the translate button,
That sentence will be translated and entered into the transcription log. If you use a lot of acronyms at work, then you can click on this button, and when someone uses an acronym in their speech, it is automatically expanded for you into the actual words. So if they say TBD, then what you'll see in the transcript is to be determined. Note that you need to enter these acronyms using the Composer Editor tool. The steps for doing this are described in the video titled Using Interact AS's Keyword Feature. If you are using a language module, then the full duplex feature is nice to use. That way Interact AS is listening to what someone is saying while at the same time it is voicing out a translation. Likewise, if you're using a language module, then you will want to include both the original and translated text in your transcript. The Composer tab is used to enter your own vocabulary, such as acronyms, idioms, proper nouns, keyword shortcuts, or any other terms. This tab also includes the Composer Editor tool that I previously mentioned. This is a powerful tool that allows you to customize Interact AS so it precisely supports your communication needs. Use of this tab is covered in detail in the User Guide, which is located in the Help page. Plus, the Help page also includes a tutorial video on adding new vocabulary. If you find that Interact AS is all of a sudden not working very well, then use the Speech Recognition tab to make sure that your microphone is indeed working properly. Click on this microphone icon and Interact AS will verify that your microphone is plugged in and working correctly. The last tab in the Configure page is for voice synthesis. You can choose the type of voice you want to use, for example a male voice or a female one. Or if you've purchased our remote module, you can even choose accents such as Canadian or Australian, whatever best represents you as an individual. In this case, I'll use a male voice. You are now hearing a sample sentence. You can also change the volume and cadence of the voice synthesis, making it slower. You are now hearing a sample sentence. Or making it faster. You are now hearing a sample sentence. Note that if you are using Interact AS to voice out translations, you will want to set the cadence to match that of the person who is speaking. For now, I'll just leave this at the default setting. There are many additional features within the Configure page. You can learn more about these by watching additional instructional videos or by reading the user guide. For now, let's move on to the Visualize page. You've perhaps heard the phrase, a picture is worth a thousand words. Interact AS is all about communication, so we've included the ability for you to use pictures as part of your communications. When you click on the Visualize tab, a menu opens up where you can select any picture or document on your computer or your computer network. When you then open up the picture, then you can use Interact AS's tools to draw and annotate right on those pictures. Or if you'd like, you can open up a clean drawing pad and use that to sketch out your ideas, just like you would in using a whiteboard. You may have previously noticed the yellow bar that has been appearing in some of the images. Now you can see why we have that yellow bar. Even when you have a picture being displayed, you can still use the closed captioning. Anything that's been said, is displayed right on top of the picture. So again, you can use any picture that you want and use that to help augment your communications. Let me close this screen. We'll move on to the next page. Last but certainly not least is the help page. When you click on this icon, you can view Interact's user guide. If you want, you can step through each chapter of this user guide, starting with the welcome section and moving through the entire document. Note that if you go to the support page of Auditory Sciences parent firm, SpeechGear, you can download a printable version of the user guide. Here is the web address for doing this. For assistance, you can also send an email to support at speechgear.com or support at auditorysciences.com. In addition to reading the individual chapters, you can search the user guide for items of interest. Here, I've entered voice commands into the search box. This shows me a listing of all the sections in the user guide that discuss that item, and I can then click on the ones that are of most interest to me. Note that there is a down arrow just to the right of the icon. There are several items included here. The show introductory video is only useful when you have a language module loaded. If, for example, you have a Spanish module loaded, 
Then clicking on this link will show a quick Spanish video that tells a person that you'll be using Interact AS to instantly translate between English and that person's language, in this case Spanish. Let's jump to the launch tutorial video link. When you select this, you'll see a list of 10 instructional videos that take you from getting started to advanced features such as Interact AS's hands-free interface and adding new vocabulary using the Composer page, as well as additional tips on how to get the best performance out of your Interact AS system. Just click on any of these titles and the video is displayed. Interact removes the language barrier by instantly translating conversations. This quick start tutorial will take you about 10 minutes to complete, plus an addition. Well, let's wrap up this instructional video. I'll go back to the translate page and once again turn on my microphone and do some final captioning. That completes this overview of Interact. Thank you for watching the video. To learn more about the entire suite of Interact products and to view additional videos, please visit our websites, which are www.speechgear.com and www.auditorysciences.com.